Welcome on back to the channel, everybody. The program. Can I call it a program? I kind of like that word. That's kind of old school. The program. Thank you for tuning in. It's going to be a hunting program on this one, y'all. And we are doing bow hunting for whitetail deer. Back here in Texas, opening day of archery season. Just looking for some meat. Just came off of a, a really hardcore elk hunt backpacking in the Colorado Rockies. I didn't show the entire length that it went on and on and on uh, searching, but we tracked that elk uh, for about a thousand yards and uh, it never bedded down once. So I think that it lived. And a big learning lesson that I got from that after watching the footage and, and talking to the guys, um, you know, I shot that, that deer, I've been whitetail mode now. I think I shot that elk uh, in the shoulder, uh, really far forward, on, honestly about a foot off my mark. And I got back home and I was shooting my bow and I was like trying to mess up and I couldn't even miss that far off at that distance. It was about 35, 40 yards. However, what I was doing, I was leading that elk and I never really settled into my shot uh, for a couple of seconds like I should have. I cow called, meh, meh, and then you know, kind of just took it right there when I was still on a little bit of a lead and just my muscle uh, still going that way, just trying to track the elk. So huge learning lesson, uh, always settle into your shot. Didn't help, the elk also turned into the shot, probably added an extra four inches into that uh, the arrow trajectory, but I do think that the, the elk is still alive out there and probably making some babies. Back here in Texas, whitetail country in the hill country, this is the first uh, lease that I've ever gotten on. And yes, we are on uh, corn feeders out here. And, and honestly, this place is really set up for rifle. Uh, so we're kind of doing our little bow thing out here right now and setting up bow blinds, uh, tree stands and things like that and getting set up for this month of doing some some bow hunting. And I'm excited because there's not just whitetail out here, there's also pigs. Um, there, there's some other critters running around out here. I think we're gonna have some fun. There's even some ponds out here. I saw some bass. So, I'm gonna take a few practice shots, make sure we're on, uh, eat a good dinner, and uh, we're gonna get up early in the morning and, you know, open a day. The excitement level is high. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? We're gonna shoot deer in the morning. We're looking through the spot and scope and that is a doe. Uh, she just walked out of frame. I was literally about to shoot my 308 sitting right there and Mike goes, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. And uh, these does just start walking out and we are literally hours from opening day. We're bow hunting anyway. Yeah, but. well, not to mention this place is MLD, so you are legally we allowed could, to shoot a rifle if it during was. bow season. If it was tomorrow, if it was legal light in the yeah. morning. So. But that's a good sign. Seeing deer already. I've never hunted this place, so we don't know what we're going to see tomorrow. So this is pretty cool, y'all. We are actually sitting, well, we're above the ridge that sits over uh, one of the rivers that I fished in Texas quite a bit and i um, excited to maybe bring the kayaks down here in the spring do a little bit of that opening day tomorrow i think i think we're gonna do a little looking first i, I don't think we're gonna shoot the first thing that walks out although i am eager i mean i just w came off a hunt where i went seven days without seeing anything and it was like just oh there uh, there he is it's nice to just watch animals you get to learn a lot when you're you know just watching them and uh, taking notes, watching their behavior, see how they behave with other animals, see how they behave with wind and uh, temperatures and conditions. We got a full moon right now. Look at this, man. Just being out here. It's pretty nice. Cowboy stove rolling in here, and I think old Eat Good over here has probably got something for us to eat good. All Dad Burgers, Deer Sauce. Dude, All Dad Burgers? All Dad Burgers? All Dad, I heard, are the most disgusting animal on okay, earth. Well. Bring We're going to find out. out whenever you taste it. All that burgers, deer sausage, portobello mushrooms, olive oil with a little mullet man critter glitter. Dude, never have to worry about eating bad when you're with Mr. Eat Good over here. Just enjoy the sunset. God bless Texas, man. Woo!
Nothing worse than a burnt all dad, man. Where, what is, where's the game? Oh, we're good. Dude, I used to have to uh, discard the, the all dad uh, remnants at a ranch I worked at, and nothing would even eat in all dad's Don't guts. Take, uh, nothing would eat the carcass. Yeah, pull some coals back. Stop talking crap. Dude, no, it's, it's got to be the worst eating animal ever. Well, if well, the, We'll get your opinion whenever you take that hey, if first If you put bite. enough critter glitter on it, sure. Hey, bud. <laughs> That's just a plug for you. Don't get mad. Meet your <laughs> Let's brother. settle this once and for all before we get up and go this this deer blind in the morning. Critter glitter, cheese. I just want to get a straight up piece of it with no cheese. Let's see what we're dealing with here. No bun, no cover ups. You gonna go shoot all that now? I'm sure. I'm sure they didn't swap uh, that out. They're a little bit overcooked. Cow, but super edible and tasty. Okay, I take back what I said. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna fill our bellies and we're gonna get ready for the morning, y'all. We'll see you when it's dark. We got headlamps on and we're getting into the bow blind itself. Hopefully, get some action, but it's looking promising so far.
just after like a call bug, no brow tines. Um, all these have had brow tines and they look like they've got some potential. So opening day, like I think I'm just gonna let, let them go. There was one doe that came in and she was really squirrely. She never really settled. good sign when a dump truck comes in front of your stand. So, I've never run in this place, so I guess there's a rock quarry out here. And, uh, they're moving rocks on opening day, Saturday. <sighs> I think we're done here, y'all. We got a little busted with that wind. It's consistent now, but, um, I think it's shot that full moon, you know, they were moving really early. And so I'm gonna sit for another 30 minutes. Old moment man's gonna come pick me up. Hopefully he's got something down. doing a little mid-morning plinking here with the 308 brace belt. What's interesting about this place and many of you that are from Texas know about uh, managed land tags, uh, but basically this place is a managed land place and what that means is the biologist comes out here, uh, they evaluate uh, the deer, the population, and then they will give you tags. So you're giving your place up for study essentially but they will help you manage the place. And so there's a certain amount of buck tags that you get and a certain amount of doe tags that you get. And those don't go towards your standard Texas uh, hunting license. For this place, there's a lot of tags. Uh, there's a lot of doe tags and we just haven't seen that many does. You know, I saw that one this morning, things got a little squirrely. Uh, we had that seven point that if that thing comes in again, it's getting popped, I think everybody decided, but we just, just getting here, not looking at all the, the camera pictures and not really knowing, you know, I didn't want to just pull the trigger early and take something that I wasn't uh, totally 100% confident and happy with. It, you just don't want to do that. You're not going to feel great about it. Now knowing that there's some other deer out here, there's a good population and that one is missing, it's not, it's not missing a brow time. It's, I think it's missing its uh, G3. It's kind of a weird gap on the deer, but still a mature deer. Wanna make sure you're taking a mature animal. What's also interesting about the MLD situation is you can use a rifle right now uh, during archery season on a managed land tag. So if worst comes to worst, wanna make sure we get the 308 uh, good to go. I, don't, I doubt we're going to be shooting this far, but just kind of plinking around. I haven't shot it past 100 yards, so getting an opportunity here to do that. Almost happened this morning, y'all. It happened so fast. Everything was so fast, and then we just had a few things that didn't go our way with the wind and the pigs and all that. But plan is right now I'm going to sit that same spot this afternoon, and hopefully that 7 comes back. Uh, if not, I may even sit there again in the morning. And, you know, first, basically, if that 7 or any doe walks out, uh, that's what we'll do if the wind stays good. First evening hunt of opening day weekend. And I think what we need to do a little, a little something different this time. We need to face paint up. Going back to the same blind, 
Same situation. Get her up right in there. Here we go. Hey, let's get a little green for fun. What do you think? Let's get a little froggy. Get a little froggy in there. Yeah. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, we have deer meat that we're gonna be devouring tonight. Some tasty tendies harvested by Mullet Man himself. Uh, he got into a wad of does, which is awesome. That was one of the things we wanted to see coming in here. It's what we <laughs> expected to see. Uh, and I've been seeing nothing but bucks. It's been really crazy, but we finally got some meat. Uh, we've actually ran out of uh, dinner type stuff. We had some burgers and stuff the other night, but uh, we've already planned on getting something by now. So we're hunting a little later. What I have decided now, I've been very patient. You know, it's opening weekend and there's been a couple of deer that I could have shot. The one that came in tonight that had a more reddish color, he was an eight point. He was probably three, maybe four years old. He was just sitting there 15 yards. I could have shot him a hundred times and I was waiting for that seven point to come in. He finally came in right there at the end of the day. It was gonna be perfect and then he kind of circled the pin where I couldn't get a shot and then as soon as he started coming back around I was gonna draw back and the wind shifted for just a second and caught wind and popped out of there. What was interesting to watch is he pushed the other deer out like you saw the other two deer run away and it showed that he was more dominant uh, buck and I saw him this morning he was sitting there forever I could have shot him a hundred times but I was just kind of evaluating the deer and uh, the last thing I want to do is shoot a deer that I'm not comfortable with and first time being on this lease I didn't want to shoot anything you know that I wasn't comfortable with and everybody else wasn't comfortable with. I think what I'm gonna have to do I didn't want to do this but because of this wind shift it just started this evening I might have to get into a rifle blind on that same stand it's hot it's a hot area I'm gonna show you all for an example this is an app I have and it allows you to look at the wind. This is hunt stand if anyone's curious about it. We'll just back up here. You see that change right there, kind of good, and then it gets bad about right there, about 9 a.m. And then we're just gonna be blowing out everything. I think we're gonna have to get the rifle out, y'all. I didn't wanna do it. I didn't wanna do it, but tomorrow's my last morning to hunt. Uh, I've got to head out, got to catch a flight to Florida and do some more fishing. Knowing everything I know now, a deer that's sitting there at 50 yards and I probably would have shot it had that seven point not pushed the other ones away just because it was bugging me so much. It was one of those borderline, but anyway, that's how it went tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in. Go ahead and smash it for some opening day action. This is probably more whitetail uh, deer action than I've, than I've had on camera. The, than like any of my videos. It was awesome. I've had two fantastic sits. I uh, cannot complain at all. So I'm not in a bad mood at all. It was really just two fantastic sits. But meat It's what's for dinner. And it's what I need to get on the ground tomorrow. So see you guys in the morning on the next one. See ya.